Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Linovation. Here's a question we get all the time. You got only one Ethernet cable running to the location, but now you literally want to hook up two or even more devices like the PoE cameras. How do we handle this? There are actually two types of devices are built purposely exactly for this. They are PO extender and PoE pass-through switch. And literally these two devices are built for you know, extending the PoE transmission distance over 100 meters limits. That's for extending the transmission distance. But like this PO extender, it offers not just the one port, but two ports, which means one PoE signal in and two PoE signal out that can connect to two end devices. Extending the distance, meanwhile, can support two end devices. All right, in today's video, we'll take a closer look how the PoE extender and the PoE path-through switch can connect multiple end devices and break down the key differences between them and figure out which one makes the most sense to fit your specific setup. First up, let's talk about this PO Extender O2. And this is, as you can see that, this is a really compact sized and uh, really easy to fit into any junction box or waterproof case and put it indoor use and outdoor use. See that we have uh, two, three ports. One is the in port and the two output ports. And as an import, it can accept IEEE 02.3 AF80, which means that accept maximum power in is 30 watts. Can accept from your PoE switch and the PO injector. And the two output ports, one is support 15 watts, another one is 8 watts. But the data rate is 100 megabits per second. It's a plug and play, no extra power adapter is required. And this is a PO extender, which means that it can extend in your power and the PoE transmission distance. Originally you have 100, you can add another 100, which means that 200 meters. But if you want to extend further, like you can get a second unit of this little gear, and which means that it can support a total 300 meters of the PoE transmission distance. This is a simple but a practical solution when you have two end devices but only with one Ethernet cable around. No need to pull in the second line and just drop this little extender and you're good to go. But here's the thing, if your device need more power, higher data rates, and work in harsh environments, the next device we're going to talk about is actually deserve you to check it out. All right, It takes everything the first device does but it levels up. This is a Linovation BTPoE extender. As you can see that it's a beautiful tough device. It's an aluminum case support an IP67 waterproof. The key difference here is that it takes in BT90 water PoE in. It also features two PoE output ports and one gives you 60 watts and another one gives you 30 watts. And that means this device can support two power hungry devices. And then meanwhile, and this device supports a gigabit data transmit speed. And it's not just faster, it's tougher too. It's got a regular aluminum case, IP67 waterproof, and a 4K based surge protection. Still plug and play, just like the basic one. It also has smart LED indicators. So if you can see power and connection status right on site, super helpful when you are not in the field.
Now, what if you need to power more devices? No AC power, but you need to run multiple PoE devices, not just the one or two. That's when you want the PoE path-through switch. But what is a PoE path-through switch exactly? A regular PoE switch is like a power strip plugged into the wall. It needs its own power source AC or DC input, and then it distributes the power and data to multiple devices. Pretty straightforward, huh? But what if you're out in the field and there's no wall to plug into? That's when a PoE path-through switch becomes your secret weapon. A PoE path-through switch is more like a smart splitter that draws power from another PoE source upstream, like a 90 watts PoE injector or a high power switch, and then shares that power with multiple devices downstream using just a single ethernet input. No need for wall outlets, no external power supplies, just one cable in, multiple devices out. Anywhere you get no AC, but still need everything on. We recommended two powerful PoE path-through solutions that are built to solve exactly this kind of challenge. And let's take a closer look. The first solution we're looking at is a full port PoE path-through switch. This compact switch is powered entirely by the BT90 water PoE input, which can come from a PoE injector or a high power PoE switch from that single ethernet input. It redistributes that power and gigabit data to four separated PoE ports with total PoE budget of 56 watts. And think of this like, you know, the mini PoE switch that runs on PoE itself. No AC power required. And it's an ideal for remote deployment where you need more than two devices, but want to avoid the hustle of running multiple cables. And meanwhile, you also get up 330 feet of the extra reach with IEEE 2.3 AF80 and a BT compliance. It safely powers your gear without risking damage from fixed software PoE. For the projects that demand more power, longer reach, and industrial grade durability, this enhanced model takes things further. Unlike the first unit, which offers 56 watts PoE budget and up to 100 meters of extension, this version delivers up to 120 watts total PoE output when powered by due DC inputs, enough to handle multiple high power devices simultaneously. It also supports extended transmission up to 820 feet in CCTV mode, making it ideal for large area civilian setup. And on top of that, it's built for harsh environments with a fanless mental housing, wide operating temperature range, thin rail mounting, and a higher surge and ESD protection. This is an even better choice when your deployment requires not just more ports, but more resilience, more power, and more control. 